Hello folks, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And as you saw in that intro video, our company does everything from on-demand learning with over 70 different courses, virtual mentoring, hackathons, private trainings, uh, you name it, we do it for the most part, especially around the Power Platform. So in this video on our wonderful YouTube channel, that's one of the other things we do, uh, we like to give you a lot of information, a lot of tutorials of things to help you out. And so in this episode of my Power Platform series, I want to revisit apps and talk about collections. Now, sometimes you have an app to where there are certain predefined comments or text inputs that you want your users to quickly put into the application and not have to type everything out. Well, if that's your case, a collection is probably the way that you want to go about it to make your app more user friendly. So without any more talking, let's just see how we can utilize collections within Canvas apps and how we can get it done. So as you can see here, this is our park inspection app. I've modified it a little bit differently from the, from if you've been following with me in my series. But what I have here is on this screen, we're going to be able to click on a new inspection of a, of a park. I have my form pre-populated out. It's not all glittery and glamoury because I really wanted to show how I can populate these comments with some pre-suggested ones that people know they're going to use. So here's what we're going to do first. To start to test this out and to show you how it works, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to insert in a gallery and I'm going to do a blank vertical. All right, so I'm going to put in a blank vertical gallery, which means it's not hooked up into any items at the moment, and I'm not going to put any items in the gallery to start with. So I'm going to bring this right on over here. Now, the items currently says custom gallery sample. Before I go any further with it, though, if I select my whole gallery over here, you know we have lots of different options, and currently says the layout is blank, which is what I want it to be. Data source is none, perfect. But now I'm going to add in my own individual items using the table command. The table command is going to allow me to create some records for my data source, and then I'm going to use those within the gallery to get us started. So without any further ado, I'm going to take out custom gallery sample, and I'm going to start off here with my table command. So we're going to go table, and then when putting this in, I got to put in, let me zoom in here for everyone. We're going to go with the curly brace to start off with, and I'm just going to call this column the comment column and I'm gonna do things like comments that my park inspectors might typically put down something like uh, needs landscape maintenance close that off with a double quote and close that off to make my first record comma I'll make another one here again the comment column I'm gonna go something like vandalism if I can spell it vandalism present and I'll close that off with another curly brace. And then I'm going to do one more over here. I'll scroll on over. I'll do one more comment in something like, uh, let me spell it right, all looks good. All right. So just like so, I've now added in items for the table. Now what I want to do is I want to utilize those within my gallery itself. So over here on my gallery, if I select the gallery and I'm in my template cell, I could just start off with putting in like text labels if I wanted to. But what I want to do in my template cell is I want to put in a checkbox that they're going to be able to check off on these comments. So in my vertical gallery, I'm, again, once again, I'm in my template cell of the gallery. The way you get to your template cell is you select your gallery and you select your pencil icon. And then in my insert, I'm going to go to input and I'm going to put in a checkbox. So right now it currently just says option. I'm also going to take the whole template cell, make this smaller so that I'm going to be able to see. Right now it's showing me three records because I only have three records in here. And I'm going to make some modifications to these checkboxes for short. The first thing I'm going to do is take the text of the checkbox and instead of the word option, this now has records in it, so I'm going to go back to that old tried and true this item dot comment. And now you can see the comments are located over here landscape maintenance, vandalism present, and all looks good. Now, how am I going to utilize this? Well, here's the idea when they check it, I'm going to add that to my collection. What's that going to do? Well, in a little bit, 
I'm gonna tie my comments data card value to pull in all of the comments, all of the records that are in that collection. So it's gonna be very easy for my end users to populate their comments box here. So the first thing I need to do is on the checkbox itself, it has a property called on check. So I'm gonna to go to its on check property, which is currently set to false. What I'm gonna tell it to do is to collect what I checked right here. So I'm gonna use the function called collect. As you can see, collect is gonna make a collection and then we can tell it what item to put in. So my collection, I'm gonna call it col comments. Make it easy for me to remember what I'm doing here. What item do I want in here? I want this item, I want the whole record. So this item, because it's just a one column, uh, little virtual table really stood up in the background. So let's see if this just even works to begin with. So I've defined a collection. If I go to view, this is where you can always see your collections. So here's collection comments. Don't have anything in it. Okay, I'm gonna hit back. I'm gonna hold down my Alt key to test this out. And I'm gonna make three selections here, go back to collections. And here we go. I now have, oh, now I'm gonna go to collection comments. There we go. Needs landscape, vandalism, all looks good. Perfect. Step one, two, three, whatever step we're on, it is now done. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to take my collection records and put them into the comments box for my users. So on my form itself, I'm gonna go into my comments data card, and because I'm changing default values, I have to unlock the card first. So I'm gonna do a right click, I'm gonna unlock it, and then I need to get into the data card value. So I can just click on the space, or if it's hard to find that click exactly, this is gonna be my data card value of my comments data card. So by default, I'm gonna get rid of parent.default here, because I'm not using any of the parent data source settings of this SQL Server table. And I'm gonna add in the next function, <coughs> the concat function. And the concat function is going to bring together multiple values. So I have to tell it what table am I doing this over. I'm doing it over my collection comments table. All right, so I've now given it the exact table to do its operation over. The next thing it says, it needs to do an expression. What expression do I do over this table? Well, I want to pull in the comment column. So I'm gonna go comment column, then comma. It now says, how do you want these individual values that are gonna be returned, whether it's two or 2,000, how do you want them to be separated? Well, in my case, I'm gonna go with double quotes. It's gonna be a string comma, and then a space, and then another double quote. And then I'm gonna close that off. And as you can see right away, needs landscape, maintenance, vandalism, present, all looks good. They are now showing up. So this is great. So if I come over here and I play the application and I hit save, boom, my record was created. Needs landscape, maintenance, vandalism, present, all looks good. And we're done. No, we're not done. There are some issues that are going to arise, but we've got the bulk of the problem solved. Our users can see this little checkbox and boom, put them in. I like to think of it like a shopping cart. Uh, you're taking your shopping cart to the grocery store, you go boom, I want that, I want that, I want that. You put it all in the cart and then you take it up to the cash register. That's kind of what we're doing here. But here's where we're gonna run into an issue. I'm gonna hit new inspection. Ah, oh, darn it. All of my checkboxes are already here, so it's already filling in those comments. Issue number two is if I uncheck vandalism present, I want it to be removed from the comments. So I have two fixes here that I need to do. So let's do the first fix. Let's have that when we get to this new page, even if I just filled out a record, I want these comments, the collection over here, to not actually be in the collection itself. So how do we do that? Well, what I'm gonna do is go to the screen itself and I'm gonna go to its on visible property. And when we come to the screen, my idea is I wanna clear out all of the comments that someone had checked earlier. I want it to start from a complete blank slate, so to speak. So for the on visible, I'm gonna do the clear step. So we're going to clear out our collection. So clear out the call comments, comma, uh, not comma, and that's it. We just want to clear it out. 
So now let's play the app and see what happens. So I'll just make another quick little test record here. We'll save it. All right, new inspection. Okay, cool, they're gone. Oh, but these are still have check boxes next to them or check marks next to them. Why is that? But we know that they're not in the collection, right? We can show that. If I go to view collections, nothing in call comments. Well, why are the check marks still here? Well, the reason is, is because of the default property of this checkbox. So here's what I need to do. I'm gonna go back into my template cell and select my checkbox. And then I'm gonna go to its default property, which currently, it says false. So you would think that the check shouldn't be there. And initially when we play the app, that's how it starts. But anytime we alter it after that, it is just gonna be, if the check was there, it's gonna keep it there. But what we can do is we can tell Power Apps to do a check for us. This is a true false, um, a true false control. So if it's true, it's supposed to be there. If it's false, it's not supposed to be there. So what I'm going to do is put in a little conditional logic here, but I don't actually have to use an if statement. I could, but I'm going to go about it a little bit easier. I'm going to use an in statement. I'm going to say this item in. All right, this item in call comment. So it's going to say, is this item in the collection? If it is in the collection, it results in true and the checkbox shows. If it's not, then it's not going to show. So that's how we get around that issue. So now, if I hit play, and I'll just go with vandalism present. There it is, I'll hit save. Perfect, new inspection. Boom, we cleared it out. Since we cleared out the collection, this item is no longer in the collection, so therefore the check mark is removed. All right, we are almost there, everyone. Here is the last thing that we need to do. If I select vandalism present, I go, you know what? Actually, I don't want vandalism. I uncheck it. Mm, it's still there. Because what we haven't done is set the on uncheck property. What do we want to happen if we uncheck this? So that's going to be our final fix here. So let me come off of here, select my template cell checkbox, and I'm gonna go to the on uncheck property. So on uncheck, what do I want to do? I want to remove, I want to remove from my collection. I'm not clearing the collection, I'm just removing an individual item from the collection. What item do I wanna remove? Well, it's the record that I select, so it's this item. So we close it off. Now let's see if we finally have everything working. So, and let me hit cancel here. Let it get going again. New inspection, nothing. Landscape maintenance, boom, gone. Uncheck it, gone. Check, boom, and it is unchecked, it is there. So we'll put in these few, all looks good. We'll hit save, go to new inspection, and it is working picture perfect. So hopefully you saw that with collections. This is just one use case scenario of collections. I hope to bring you some more videos on them as well. But I use this a lot within my, within the forms, within apps I create for other people for that quick boom, 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 and add those values in. And all my users have to do is if they ever want to update the comments, they just go into the app, change the table, add in the new records, uh, and they're off to the races. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you in some more in the future. Make sure you like, subscribe to be up to date on all the videos that we do here at Pragmatic Works. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.